Escape velocity. Escape velocity. What do you think of escape velocity? I think you might have something there. I think you might have reached escape velocity, escape velocity. I think you might need to be aware. Escape velocity might rob you of your hair. Escape velocity, escape velocity. I think you might go so fast your eyes might bleed as you achieve your escape velocity as you free yourself from gravity's tyranny escape velocity escape velocity i would might at least i've thought about i would at least maybe think of going elsewhere somewhere far out in space but i have not been anywhere i've not achieved the pace oh escape velocity it's driving me crazy i'm going insane it's driving me crazy i'm too fast for my brain escape velocity escape velocity how would you like to go so fast you cannot see the light increases your mass you've achieved escape velocity if you go too fast so fast you will see you will achieve victory over time and space you will achieve escape from yes this dark place escape velocity escape velocity lost in space i wonder what became of my cat my cat i hid him well my cat i loved him well my cat i tucked him away like that i wonder what happened to my lovely little cat i wonder what happened she was kind of fat but we've gone so far yes out in space and i've slept most every place i thought we'd escape some day i thought we were going fast enough the rest of the crew is dead but i still have my stuff i've achieved escape from them at least velocity increases where will i reach i would like to go i would like to know what 
will I do so far, far out? I would like to know. I would like to know. But even though I have clearly, clearly escaped, I have not quite escaped, no escaped my fate. I must still be on this ship. I never wanted this ship anyway, but this is where I'm stuck, at least for today. Until I reach escape velocity, somehow I will find a way to get home, or maybe, at least maybe someday, find someone to hang out with. But, but it might take forever, and I probably won't live exactly that long. Escaping the gravity well of your heart has proved itself too much for me. Escaping the gravity well of your heart has cost me dearly. I have tried tried you know to escape your grasp but you've ensnared me i suppose and i am doomed at last caught in the well of your love's gravity i can no longer escape caught in the well i only Orbit slowly, slowly sinking to my fate. Caught in the gravity well of your love, I do not really want to depart. I suppose if I put my engines to it, I might, might possibly escape, but I like it in your well the well of your love is what i orbit not in just a sexy way you know it's your love that i orbit i am stuck around here i do not want to go anywhere else around around, around, slowly sinking down, down into the well of your love's gravity well. Your love is so potent, it could destroy suns. Your love is so potent, it could destroy most everyone and my doom it is inevitable inevitably i must sink down yes i must eventually surrender to the weight the weight of your love but for now i've lost i've lost the velocity to go escape I do not have the energy, and orbiting you is my fate. Orbiting you is my fate. Escape room with velocity. I thought it would be fun. It was supposed to be an escape room, and I've brought all my friends. Yes, I brought most of them to this room so we could escape. I thought it would be fun, but 
Now I've really sealed our fate. This room, this room has gone and stuck us good. This room, I don't think we can leave. It looks kind of like a spaceship, you know. It looks like we've blasted out, out in space. But it was supposed to just be a simulation, or perhaps a game. But, you know, the plant it is grown, it is doing such strange things, and we just sniff our food today, and we try to escape. But if we escape the door, if we escape the door, we'd be no more, and so we must press on, press on, eventually to find our fate. What will become of us, I don't really know. It might be the best thing ever. What might become of us, do you think you know? I don't think that plant really likes us. It was supposed to be a normal thing from the earth. But out in space has changed so much. It was supposed to be just a normal plant from Earth, but I fear it may seal our doom if we don't somehow eventually land somewhere. I think that plant might devour us all. I think it wants, really wants to escape and perhaps conquer the whole galaxy, but eventually we might find ourselves somewhere, somewhere safe and sound. Yes, eventually, we might find ourselves somewhere, somewhere that's quite lovely to be found. And perhaps I will kiss the ground, kiss the ground I once walked upon. It will be such a lovely time if we at least reach some place. Having reached the escape velocity, I thought I might find you here. We were supposed to be doing some maintenance in the other room. We were supposed to be doing some exercises real, real soon. But I found you here again, you know I found here, yes, again. Yes, I found you here again, and I want, want to know. Why you doing that thing there? Why you're combing all of that hair? I know that hair's not just from you. That hair's too big to be just from you. I don't know why you're not through. That hair is too big for you. I don't know why you're combing that hair. That hair right there. That hair right there. That hair right there. Yes, you know that hair. I see you combing that hair. You can't deny it. No, not here. I see you combing that hair. Do not deny it's right right there. That hair, that hair, it's crawling on your ear. That hair, that hair, it really, really queer. I don't know why it's climbing up your head. I don't know why it's climbing. I thought you were dead. I don't know why it's climbing. I thought you died. I don't know why it's climbing deep, deep in your eyes. I really want to get out of here. I really want to go, go, go. I really want to get out of here. But I don't know where, which way to go. That hair, that hair, that hair is almost everywhere. That hair, that hair, it is almost everywhere. It is almost everywhere. I need to get out of here. I want to get somewhere much safer. I need to get, yes, out of here. I want to go somewhere much safer. I must escape, 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 escape. I must escape, yes, and not meet my fate. So I will go through that door. I will go and escape there. Yes, I will go, yes, through that door. And I will shave all of my hair. 
I do not want my hair to grow into that horrible thing. I do not know why that hair, it really, really grew there. That hair, that hair, it was a horrible thing. That hair, that hair, I don't know what happened in there. I don't know what happened in there, but I am safe here, safe here, safe here. Yes, I am safe here without my hair. Yes, I am safe here, safe here. I will escape, escape now. I will escape, escape now. I am going out, out of here. I am going out, out there. Bye. Bye, lovely hair. Bye, bye. If you go mad while you're out in space, remember not to go through the airlock without a spacesuit, without a spacesuit, because you will most surely die. You can go out if you have one. You don't need no, no hair. You can go out of the airlock if you have a spacesuit you don't need hair i do not know if they make hair that can act as a spacesuit i do not think even your planet has hair that's quite like that but i think that you might find lovely lovely spacesuits lovely spacesuits then you'll find that they have helmets that look like hair you don't need hair to wear yes that spacesuit but you should wear spacesuits when you go outside there's no atmosphere none here there's no atmosphere for your hair there's no atmosphere here, but you can escape if you need to. If you need to leave a wreck room, you can play the game of Velocity, Velocity. It's the best game you will see. You can go to the rec room and escape playing the game velocity velocity i hope you find yourself quite rested after you play that game remember that it needs your help to make our ship filled with your brain we want your whole body healthy and nice we have a vat for just brains but it's already full over twice we don't need another brain in that vat this evening we've got plenty in there plenty in there for now Floating in a vat of ordinary brains, I am clearly the best. Floating in a vat of ordinary brains, how can just a brain get rest? How can just a brain get rest? I think I want to move slowly over there i think i want to really smash harry here i don't like harry here but i don't 
have hands anymore? How do I get hands again? I'm just a superior brain floating in a vat of normal brains. I really want to do something good, something super and fun. Maybe I will be able to control the spaceship here. Please pick me next. Please pick me next. I know just where that connector goes. It can go over here. Connect it here. I want to be the next brain. The next brain that goes. But I'm just a normal brain. A superior brain. A normal, beautiful brain in a vat of inferior brains in a vat of most peculiar brains in a vat of slightly disturbing and unfit brains. Please pick my brain next. I am, yes, yes, the best. Please pick my brain next. It is clearly better than the rest. I want to be the brain that escapes this big brain train. I need to explain the velocity we need. I need to explain how I will delightfully feed. I want to eat, but I've no teeth. I want to eat some inferior brains. Please pick me next. Your brain looks so juicy. When the brain controlling your spaceship dies, use a backup brain. When the brain controlling your spaceship dies, grab the net and Go to the vat. You can find so many lovely, lovely brains, but we only use just one at a time. You can find so many lovely, lovely brains, but we only use one at a time. Plop it into the section. Over in that corner, the receptacle connects it all by itself. Plop it in just over in that corner. You don't need to use anything from that shelf, just plop that brain right where it goes. Plop just any of them quick before they all decompose. Grab a brain right from that vat. We've got lots of them Be because we use them fast. We need brains like some people used fuel. We need brains, don't worry, it's not cruel. It's how they go so many places, taking us with 
them today. It's how they go so many places out in space. Yes, today. I hope that when my body goes, my brain can be thrown in the vat. I hope that when my body goes, they can use my brain for that. Then when I'm selected there, I can take my turn. Then when I'm selected there, all of you will surely learn what we will see when we go out in space. What we will see when we explore all over the place. Having reached escape velocity, the ship did its maneuver, but the people they wanted to hoover, and they tripped over the cable, you know. They unplugged the computer. They just wanted to clean, you know. But they unplugged the computer. The computer, it sent things, important calculations. The computer, it sent things to help them do their jobs. But the Hoover unplugged the computer and the computer it did not do its job and the ship as it was supposed to turn it did not turn just right and they all would die but one thing that saved them, yes, you know, was a little thing they had on board. What did save them, do you know? It was a turnip named Jim. Jim was just a pet turn up none of the people they knew that he had been practicing his calculations until he knew everything he needed to calculate them through that maneuver they needed to tweak their thrusters to tweak their thrusters to so they did little jimmy turn up who was not even supposed to be there oh yes that turn up he was the local hero. He knew how to do the calculations and his computations, they were not slow. He knew how to do the calculations and he was Fast enough to save the show. Having saved the spaceship, little Jim the turnip returned home to his village. 
happy and well paid. He thought about having a family. He wanted to marry a lovely turnip named Bob. Jim and Bob would be married, yes, Jim and Bob would be married. They were two, yes, two lovely turnips. But you know the people complain that turnips should not marry other turnips. They were supposed to only marry radishes, but these lovely turnips they wanted to marry. Did you know that sometimes, yes, radishes preferred to just marry each other just like Jim and Bob just like Jim and Bob sometimes even the radishes they just loved each other and the people they did not understand that love even among the vegetables is just love love among the vegetables is still love so little jim and Bob moved away to another country where they still, still today do the fastest calculations in the world. And that's how that country became the power they are today. They had little Jim and Bob, and they calculated the way, the way to get much better the way to love everyone and that country is good and happy and healthy and in space in space in space If we don't work harder, the radishes will conquer space. I know that seems unusual to most. If we don't work harder, yes, harder in that place, the radishes, yes, they too will know what we will do when they come through. What we will do when they come for me and you. Radish might, radish might, you will see if we don't do something they will come for me we must protect humanity from vicious vicious radishes i think 
the radishes might sing a little song about what they'll do with our skulls when we're not using them anymore. I think that Radish wants to make a planetarium in my cranium and show lots of pictures. Yes, I think that Radish wants to make a terrarium in my ribs or something else absurd. The radishes will kill us, you will surely see. Radishes from space, strong and mighty. We must protect humanity from radishes from space, clearly. Protect us, protect us, we must be sure that genocide won't come to the humans. Protect us, protect us, we must go and make something to kill radishes, it's them. I think I've lost it. My mind has reached the point where it's moving so fast. I'm out of this place. My mind has reached escape velocity and it's no longer in my head. It passed through my eyes, or perhaps my mouth. It escaped me once or twice a year ago. But my mind, it returned, it returned. But my mind was not happy. Yes, my mind, it returned, returned. It was not happy and it planned escape. Escape velocity, escape velocity. My mind will surely escape from me. Escape velocity, escape velocity. My mind is clearly crazy. Please, please help me, help me catch my mind. I'm quite normal on the inside. Hear me talk to you now, and you see just how normal I will be if I have my mind. My mind wants to escape me. It is making me quite crazy. I just want to be normal, you see. And I need, need my mind. Have you thought what it might be like if you had no mind? I think I might scratch my behind be because I would not be thinking any other thing. I would only want to scratch when I felt scratchy. I would only want to scratch to make me happy. I would only scratch slowly. I would only scratch things that felt itchy. I would only scratch when I thought it made sense. But I need my mind. Yes, I need my mind. Please return my mind if you catch it before me.
having lost my mind to the horrors of space, I thought I might decide. I decide to just leave yes my mind and I'd go deep inside. I went inside, yes, inside that house because I could not go in my mind. And so I descended to the basement because I had no mind to go into. I went into that basement there and grabbed something to eat. I went into that basement there and grabbed a can of beets. I thought they'd be a lovely treat. I thought they'd make me feel complete. And the beets, they tasted yummy. And the beets were good for my tummy. But I still did not know what to say. Because my mind had gone, clearly gone away. I thought I'd go outside then. I thought I'd go outside. I wanted to see if my mind was out driving around the neighborhood by the slide, driving around by the slide. My mind did not like doing things that put it at risk. I found it later at the park hiding behind a fancy dish. It had stolen it from picnickers. It had stolen a special dish. It had stolen it from picnickers so that it could make a wish. It just wanted a place to go. A place to go and un unwind. And that's why I found my mind. And that's why I found my mind. I found my mind hiding behind that dish, trying just to unwind. I wonder if from my reach what's known as escape velocity. I wonder if from my reach escape velocity. They say it's never been done. They say it's so hard to do. They say it's never, never been done. But we, we just meet songs and songs they don't, don't take too long. So I'll just make some songs, songs they don't, don't take too long. So I'll just make songs. I think you might like a song about a whale playing with twine. I think you might like a song about a mustache with a great big knife. I like to make lovely songs about a giant flea. I would like to make a beautiful song about something that likes to sneeze, about a monster that sneezes things. But I don't always make such songs. No, sometimes I can't go long. I just make a tiny, tiny song. I just make something not too long. And I think if I go longer, I think I might find 
better things, but I need some time. Yes, I need some time. Yes, I need some time to make longer songs, to make such lovely songs. But I only have so little time, so little time I must unwind. I want to make a song, it's true, but I also want to drink something from my shiny shoe. I like my shiny shoe, it's true, and the drink that it comes straight from you. You're a giant beer bat, it's true, and I love the drinks you produce.